Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with WinnersAndWiners.com coming to you from the Giacomo Casanova studio on the expansive first floor of the Winners and Winners Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's Deep Three. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you would be so kind, you're digging what we're doing. Maybe you've made a little money yesterday. Maybe you're just having some fun enjoying the content and enjoying the community. Whatever it is, give us a, give us a thumbs up for this video and if you're ready to take that next step, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Just hit the rectangle, click that bell. That way you'll not only be subscribed, but you'll get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. And of course, we want to know what you're playing. We want to know uh, your best five. Give us your best five picks. If you got that many, however many you feel good about, put them there in the comment section. You want to put more than that, you are certainly welcome to do that. But we will grade up to five. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right. You will be our capper of the day, and we have some strong cappers today. I'm just going to say that. Uh, I will tell you this. If you missed a game, you ain't the capper of the day, all right? I'm just going to give you a little preview of what the, the capper of the day stats look like. And, of course, to help you on your capping journey, don't forget to check out winnersandwiners.com and statsalt.com. Deep dives into every game, every day, always free at both of those sites. Plus, over Winners and Winners, we've now got... More stats than ever. Matchup stats, year-long stats, conference stats. What are you looking for? We got them over there, so make sure you check them out. And, of course, the previews and predictions from each of our handicappers. All right, well, let's take a look and see how we did last night. Oh, oh, we did pretty well last night as we had uh, Oklahoma City. They uh, took care of business there against New Orleans. Uh, we had Florida Gulf Coast, and they played Kennesaw State, so... Uh, once they got finished laughing, they were able to cover that number. And we had Chicago State catching 22. Didn't even need them. Only, uh, only lost by 10 there, did uh, Chicago State. On the premium side, no, sir. No, sir. We could not keep the heat going as we had Iowa to take care of business as Indiana. They absolutely did not. Played them tight for the first part of the game. And then Bob's your uncle. That game was over as Indiana stepped on the gas. Iowa could not answer the bell. We also had Arkansas Little Rock, which had been a fantastic team uh, against the number, playing Texas State, and they got in a hole early, spent the rest of the game trying to dig out. They got it close, ended up at 8, but they could not get within 3. So 0-2 oh we go on the premium side. 3-0 and oh on the deep 3, and on with today's action we go. We have got a veritable smorgasbord of, uh, of games today. Going to have a little fun today, so... Uh, Friday, kind of a light slate, so we're going to take a couple of spins in directions we wouldn't normally. We're going to start off uh, with a play from the Horizon League. Horizon League? Summit League. Yeah, I always get confused. It's it's Denver and San, in uh, South Dakota State. It is the Pioneers and the Jackrabbits. This game is uh, shows San, South Dakota State as a 15-point home favorite against the Denver Pioneers. And we are going to back this Jacks team that has been absolutely dominant in league play. Uh, they are 9-2 and two in conference, including a perfect 5-0 and oh straight up and against the spread at home. Denver, well, they're just 1-10 in, in conference play, but they've been, uh, they've been decent. They've, uh, they've jumped up in some underdog spots here this season, but I think this game, it's a little too much of a mismatch. Mismatch, uh, South Dakota State uh, by 12 on Denver's home floor. Of course, we can't, uh, we can't get caught up looking to see what happened last game, but it does give us a little bit of a clue as to what uh, might be on the horizon. Uh, I think this is a far superior Jackrabbits team. And I actually think we're getting pretty good value on this number at 15. Give me the Jacks minus 15 points. And we're taking a look at the uh, at the initial game of the NBA All-Star Weekend. Well, it's not, it's not the initial game. We're not taking, uh, we're not betting the celebrity game. Although, uh, man, I wonder if there's a line on that. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, no, we don't have a problem. You have a problem. Now, we're taking a look at the Rising Stars game as the world takes on the USA. USA is a three-point favorite in this one. Guys, here's the deal. I wrote this up. I didn't think Luka Doncic was going to play. Did a little more research, and he swears that he's going to play both games, as is Trey Young. The problem is uh, Luka Doncic's been hurt. So I just can't imagine that he is going to get a full rotation here for the World Stars. Uh, but even if he does, you know what? I still like the USA. This is a this is a team that is chocked full of high quality talent. 
uh, Devontae Graham, Jaron Jackson, Jay Morant, Zion Williamson, and uh, Trey Young, who's doing double duty starting in both the games, uh, as far as the regular All-Star game and the Rising Stars. Uh, Doncic or no Doncic, I like the USA here, right here. Give me, uh, give me the good guys. Give me the red, white, and blue minus the three points. And uh, I was, you know, I was tempted by the total. I really was. It's, it's, uh, what is it? I think it's one ninety-eight and a half. I don't know. I would, I would be loath to play the under in an All-Star game. Although that's kind of the way it's trended over the last five years or so. But uh, yeah, that's I, I like the USA to take care of business because uh, I I understand it. Uh, this game is being played in the USA, so that'll be a home game for us. Um, and we're gonna take a look uh, in the NHL. My son, uh, if you remember, my son over Christmas break he did a, a little to- he did a little hockey uh, two pack, and he went one and one. But he did he did go positive value as he had a, a money line uh, one plus one thirty five that came in. So. Uh, he sent me, he texted me a uh, an NHL pick that he really likes. And I'm like, you know, what the heck? It's a light night as far as college basketball goes. So we'll give this a spin. This is the uh, Montreal Canadiens against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, my friend is looking at under six. He said the under is cashed in three straight and six of nine for the Penguins and six of eight and four straight for the Habs. It is hit in uh, the last three head-to-head contests between these two teams. And, and I quote him here, he said, the second half splits have been big. That's right. That one comes from, uh, that one comes from my son. And I actually, I looked this pick up and I, I actually looked at the, you know, cause he's 23. Of course, so of course he's still an idiot. Um, no, I'm kidding. He's a, he's a sharp kid. He, uh, he, he really is. And he watches a lot of hockey. He is a, he, he is a, uh, he's a, he's a hockey guy. He's, he always has been and really enjoys hockey. So. Um, I like it. I really do. I think I, I sign off on this pick. It is a it is a, his pick, but I will I will officially endorse this pick as we go Montreal Canadiens and the Pittsburgh Penguins under six. Uh, the USA uh, Rising Stars minus the three points, and uh, right there somewhere in the middle of all of those games, we've got the Denver Pioneers and the San Diego State Jack Rabbits. Give me the Jack Rabbits minus the fifteen points at the end of those three. You guys can join me. We'll pick up our winning tickets, get our weekend started right, kill that Friday night, and we will head back to the window. All right, everybody. Quick reminder: I'll just put a uh, I put a link to uh, the premium uh, selections in the description of the video. If you'd like to join the premium team, we would love to have you aboard. Uh, make sure that you uh, uh, hit the uh, hit the link and get signed up, and you'll be good to go. All right. So we had a couple of. Uh, Couple of fun comments there from yesterday. My favorite, I have to admit, uh, other than the ones that tell me uh, how much they enjoy the show. I always like those. Um, but Jay Good said, uh, "Scott, for tomorrow is part of your intervention. Uh, it's part of your intervention team. Do not even look at that team that's playing Central Michigan. Uh, just trying to help you. Uh, I'm trying to keep you to your word. Yeah, the uh, the A word is playing Central Michigan tomorrow." As a, as a, you regular viewers know, I've had a little bit of a problem with Akron. So, uh, I swear to God, that made me laugh a lot. And, and it made me laugh because when I was, when I was happy to handicap it for tonight, um, I actually I looked at that Akron game and I went, hmm, I wonder if that under is going to be... Like, no! No! Absolutely not! So, uh, thanks, Jay. Appreciate the kind thoughts. Hi, I'm Scott, and I bet on Akron. Hi, Scott. And, uh, of course, Hammer and Hank. He said, shout out to my boy, the Divine Greek, for five outstanding games. You demand, dude. And I've had, uh, Opa! That's right. And Hammer and Hank said, Opa! The Greek uh, has... I've, I've heard from uh, a couple of little birdies that the Greek has had a has had a decent week. A little uh, a little cash and smash going on down there in, uh, in uh, Opa! Laca, Florida. No, I don't know where in Florida the Greek is from. Um, so anyway, without further ado, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Uh, kind of a light night for shout outs, but we'll do it. Uh, three of you had perfect attendance on the day. That is Super Cisco, Sedub, <laughs> C-Dub, and the Legion of Picks. But there's four money makers out there today, picking them up, putting them down, paying those bills. T-Train, hey man, back on the right, right side of the ledger, my friend, two and one plus 90. Corgi Small, 
Speaking of back on the right side of the ledger, nice job, Corgi. Four and one plus 290. And the Divine Greek, you know him, you love him. He went five and oh plus 500. But you know who else did it? You know him, you sniff him. It's the Grub Master Supreme. The astute Aardvark also went five and oh plus 500. Well done, gentlemen. What a night for both of you. I hope you made a ton of money out there. So Divine Greek, Astute Aardvark, 5-0 plus 500. You, my friends, are the cappers of the day. Congratulations. Uh, good to have you guys uh, back and doing the capping thing. And, uh, you know, again, as, as we've talked about, I make no guarantees day-to-day -day as far as uh, being able to uh, crank out the shouts, but uh, I will do my best to to get them down. All right. So thanks for sharing. As always, guys, appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go out there and uh, you know we'll meet back here tomorrow. We'll do what we'll always do. We'll uh, we'll bitch about our bad beats. And man, did we do that yesterday? There was a bunch of guys that took absolute uh, uh, bad beats. Yeah, we'll just say it nicely. He took bad beats on Thursday and on Wednesday night. So it's good to be back. On the right side, good to see the basketball gods have smiled on us here once more. And uh, so, yeah, we'll talk about our bad beats tomorrow. We'll bet you we'll brag about our fat stacks. And then it'll be Saturday. It'll be a full slate of action. So, uh, yeah, where else would you rather be? We'll just jump in. We'll fire it up and we'll do it all again. All right. You guys take care. Thanks for watching. Couldn't do it without you, of course. And good luck on everything today. Hope you guys, hope everybody Hits them all, and I uh, hope the casinos have to send out for more money. That's my fervent wish. So let's go out there and make that shit out. All right. Good luck. And uh, you know what? I'll be looking for you guys back at the window. Take care.